suicide. You know, that's a really scary word, isn't it? She said, our worst fears have been confirmed. Your brother has committed suicide. Anybody who has lost anyone through suicide, you always say, what did I miss? Why couldn't I save him? How much longer can I go in a deep, dark hole and try and pull myself out of it? I ended up trying to force myself to jump out my window from the sixth floor. I did turn on the gas in my, you know, house and, um, um, yeah. I sat on the edge of a rented bed one night. I filled my body with pills and I went to sleep. I went out and bought a bottle of vodka with the intention of drinking myself into oblivion and driving off of whatever bridge I could find. You're talking about suicide, you're talking about death, but you're also simultaneously talking about life. When you bring in the first person perspective of those of us who've been there, it brings life into it. We're the people who survived. People are scared of this, and in a real sense they should be, because it's scary. But you don't need to be ignorant about something just because you're afraid of it. I used to think, man, maybe life just isn't for everybody. I was done, and I was wrong. And then I'm able to talk to my dad and say, God, Dad, I'm having a really hard time. And he goes, yeah, life's a bitch, isn't it? I'm like, mm, thanks, Dad. Um, <laughs> yes, life's a bitch. Thank you so much for illuminating that for me. I am a survivor. We must celebrate that in the midst of the grief and the rage for all who've lost their lives and their dreams. My name is Desiree. I am a suicide attempt survivor. Three years ago, all of this seemed like a pipe dream. And now, not so much. Yeah. Today I have hope. If we did things differently, then more people will be alive. All of us know what it's like to hurt. We are not alone.